very quiet. And very busy. I'm always busy, Stefan. Just trying to find ways to prove to you that I'm not a little girl anymore. But, Rena, I don't think of you as just a little girl at all. You're somewhere in between. A little old to be playing with dolls. And a little young to be experimenting with things you don't understand. What does that mean? That Creole doctor. I've seen you with him at the hotel. Are you jealous? <laughs> we understand each other. We like the same things and we hate the same things. Like Lily Chignet? That's none of your business. Just leave Lily alone and the bell crutier. I'll prove to you, Stefan, that I am older and much more powerful than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Loren. Just can't seem to shake this headache. It's no wonder after all that gypsy business today. Yeah, I guess I was a little tense. I found this old photograph album of Jolie's. There seem to be some pictures missing. I thought maybe you could tell me who they might be of. Which pictures? Well, here. And over here, I think this is my grandfather, but whoever was sitting next to him has been torn out of the picture. It's a very old picture. I just thought since you've been with the family so long. That's right. Almost 60 years, and I still have work to do. It's just like I don't know anything about my family. Mother never spoke of the Chignets. I think she really hated them. I don't know why. She wouldn't even let Daddy mention them, his own family. Now they're all gone. Your mother was very strong-willed. She was a real old-fashioned Southern belle. Oh, she fit right into the Parisian upper class. Everything just so. Listen, she never spoke of the Chignets. I always wondered if we had some skeleton closet. You ask so many questions. It's just that I have no family now, my friend. And I'd like to know who I did have, where I come from. Your Aunt Jolie saved this. It was her mother. Grandmother Clotilde? I look like her, don't I? Small and dark, not like grandfather. You so fair. Oh, thank you, Mama Loren. Oh. Will you sit down with me sometime and tell me everything you know about the family? I'm an old woman. My memory is not so good anymore. Stefan Janos is doing some research on the area. Maybe he'll come up with some history of the Belcotil. Gypsies lie about everything. We'll see. Oh, so humid. What do people serve for cocktails down here? The mademoiselle liked a Judas, but only when it was very hot. I don't think I could take it if it got much hotter than this. Oh, I can't imagine anybody actually choosing to live in this climate. Oh. I'll take Dr. Dupre. Now, what's a clever city man like him doing at Bio Chignet? Some say he's got something to hide. A mystery man, hmm? You're not crazy about him, are you? We need a doctor. Before he came, we had none. Two such interesting men in such a small town. 
Good night, Miss Lily. Good night, Mama Laurent. And thank you for everything. <laughs> You to come around back. I don't have time for games. You'd better go pay a visit to our little heiress before Stefan runs in on your territory. Stefan, how did he get into this? Oh, Zanko had some great idea about using him to introduce her to the tribe. She liked him so much they're having cocktails tonight. But don't worry, I've already begun what I have to do. Reno, we don't need any voodoo. Take care of this my way. My ways are faster. <laughs> slept or you're very early. I was on my way to town and I thought I'd stop by to see if you needed anything. Seeing someone special there? These? They're for you. From my garden? The gypsy in me. How appearing. Do you mean to tell me that your people have on this land for three generations? That's right. Well, I thought gypsies traveled, wandered from town to town. I usually do. That's why my research on my tribe is so interesting. The gypsies who've chosen to stay here all these years are still gypsies in the sense that they have a sort of mystic attachment to things. They still respect the old traditions. But they've become domesticated as well. Strange animals, my people. Sort of like cats without claws. Interesting description. So, you grew up on this land? Yes. So you can understand why I'm so concerned about what happens to it. Well, it makes much more sense to me now. I just can't understand why none of this was ever spoken of in the family. Perhaps I can help you. If you really want to know. You make it sound so ominous. You may find the source rather suspect. Now you've really got my curiosity aroused. <laughs> I love a mystery. I can see it in your eyes. Oh. They're full of curiosity and mystery. So, uh, who or what? is the source of this mystery. My people, gypsy history is passed down from generation to generation by word of mouth. We accept it as truth. I, I, I understand all that, but I want to know about the Chenier's. I'll tell you if you're sure you want to know. <gasps> Bonjour, Lily. Bonjour, Christian. Do you two know each other? Yes, we have rooms at the Hotel Bayou Chenier. Good to see you, Stephen. I was just on my way to Manning to see some patients. I thought I'd drop in. I hope you don't mind. Oh, of course not. Perhaps we can have dinner tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I would say tonight, but I won't be back until very late. I like that. I do owe you one. No, 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 no. You owe me nothing. Can I give you a lift into town? That would be going out of your way. Thanks. A walk, as you wish. Au revoir. Au revoir. You don't like Dr. Dupre? Let's just say we have different points of view. My Aunt Jolie seemed to enjoy his company. What? What? Jolie and Christian? Well, she had to have been at least 20 years old. <laughs> How very French. You don't seem very upset. Their affair, if they had one, is none of my business. And besides, I think I've uh, learned something. 
I should be wary of Dr. Dupre's charm. I believe he has his eye on this plantation. My, my. All sorts of naughty business here at the Belle Clotilde. <laughs> Your eyes are full of mischief again. A place as old as the Belle Clotilde must have many stories. It must have been magnificent in the old days. Elegant gentlemen dancing with beautiful women. You like that image? The Southern Belle, like your mother. Never. I'm sorry. I did care for my mother. It's... It's just that there was always some part of her that was trying to confine me. I keep too much inside. Still here sometimes when I'm working, when all of a sudden I just get so restless that I feel like I have to get up and walk right out the door. <laughs> Go anywhere. I understand. I've never told that to anybody. You see, you've gotten me to talk about myself. Now I want to know about you. Let's settle our business first. And tonight, when we meet, we can be very relaxed and become better acquainted. That's a wonderful idea. Oh. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, it's just a... It's just a stitch in my side. I think you should lie down. Oh, that's not necessary. It's just, just a little pain. It's passing now. I'm, I'm feeling much better. It's, uh, it must be all the spicy food. What have you done to that child? Stay away from her with your evil eye. Mom, it's all right. It's just, it's just a pain or something. <laughs> Indigestion. I... I, I, I'm fine now. These people bring the evil eye with them. Stay away from them. I warned Mademoiselle Julie, now I'm warning you. They wear the mark of the devil. Oh, Laurent, there's no such thing as the mark of the devil. Really, it's, it's just a pain. It's gone now. Really. It's as simple as that. Thank <laughs> you. 